Oh, chattering mind. To suppress the chattering mind. You see what? Uh, that means conflict, isn't it? <laughs> Your mind is chattering and you suppress it. So there is duality, there is conflict, there is struggle. But you never say, why is my mind con- chattering? Not how to stop it. Why is my why is your mind chattering? Oh for God. This so this is all so childish stuff. Why is one's mind chattering? Is it habit? Is it laziness? Is it Comforting. Go on, think it out, sir. Is it laziness that the mind got into a habit and therefore keeps on chattering, chattering, chattering? Is it your conditioning? Is it because it is it because It is afraid very profoundly, if it doesn't chatter, what will happen? You understand? That is, most of our minds are occupied, whether in the kitchen, whether in the office, whether in the family, whether it's uh, in bed or cooking, it's all the time occupied with something or another. Why? So this is also. What? Does it really matter that the mind is chattering? Oh yes, it does. Wait, wait, I'll show you why it matters, if you don't mind listening for a minute. It matters a great deal because it's a wastage of energy. It's like all the time walking, walking, walking. So I'm a, no, please answer. Why is the mind occupied with something? No, first watch yourself. Please, don't immediate answer. That's a verb. It becomes verbal and meaningless. But if you say now, why is my mind occupied? Why is your mind occupied? Because the mind is not free. No, no. Is it afraid that if it is not occupied, what would happen? Have no existence if it wasn't wait, 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 that's just, sir, because it has no existence. So it says, I exist because I'm chattering? Yes. No, you don't see all this. That's what they count, sir. So I'm asking you, why is it your mind occupied? If it was not occupied, it is empty, isn't it? <coughs> huh? And you are, you are frightened of that, aren't you? So fear is dictating that you should be occupied with something, so as to escape from fear. And chatter, chatter, chatter. Is that it? <clears throat> to avoid what can't be controlled. To avoid. So your mind is occupied, and an occupied mind. You know, when the mind is occupied, it is useless. <laughs> right? Isn't it? It may be thinking of God and say, God, God, whatever it does, and read books about God and uh, never look at anything else. It, you, it's an utterly meaningless and useless mind. So a mind that's occupied is not only useless, but it has no vitality. Right? And it has no. You know, I, I won't go into all this too. Do you, you know, we are so afraid of being empty. You understand? Of being nothing. So, occupation implies a mind that is wasting its energy. And to avoid all that, 
occu- I mean chattering, you concentrate on something. Say, I won't chatter, I'll look at this picture, at this poem, at this uh, face, and look. But you're not looking, because it's occupied. Right? Whereas to look, there must be no occupation. Which means you look without concentration. Concentration then becomes an occupation. I must concentrate, I mustn't allow any thought to come in, etc., etc. So you are building a wall around yourself and in order to concentrate, which becomes a conflict. I would right. So awareness we've gone into. Attention, I mean, concentration, we can go much more deeply into it, but we haven't time. There's a great deal involved in it. Because, you know, when you concentrate, you are bringing about greater importance to the Self, unconsciously. I may, be, I may give my concentration in the office, hmm? Or in the factory, or the garden, or whatever it is, it gradually that occupation becomes, that concentration becomes very important to me. Haven't you noticed it? Because through that concentration, I am going to get something, a reward. So that's question of um, concentration. Attention is something entirely different from awareness, in which there is no choice, concentration, which is focusing all your energy on a particular thing, thereby becoming a specialist, a specialist as a gardener, professor, whatever you like, which gives tremendous importance. To answer. Now, we said attention has nothing whatsoever to do with either. Because in attention there is no centre from which you are observing, you are aware, you are attending. Right? There is. Have you ever. Give your. Now, look, I am saying something. Give your whole attention. Hmm? Attention, you know, your nerves, your body, everything. Listen with such tremendous attention, and you will see there is no centre as me who is uh, listening. You are just listening. <coughs> huh? So, in att- where there is attention, <coughs> there is no me. Obviously, there is no centre, and therefore there is no periphery. There is no distance from the centre to an end. There is only a space in which there is complete attention, without border. That becomes so. What is then not attention? Right? Because most of us <coughs> attend <coughs> very seriously for a couple of seconds, <laughs> and then seeing the, how, what it does, we want to maintain it. Practice attention. Uh, go to various schools where you learn to be attentive. <laughs> or follow some guru who will tell you how to be attentive, practice and all that, which is all nonsense. So, Atten- to, to attend, which means to give your whole attention, whole attention in ob- observing, which means keeping your eyes absolutely still and looking. Right? Will you all do some of all this, or am I talking to vainly, as usual? <laughs> 